At the foot of Tijin Mountains, northern Morocco, vast fields of cannabis plants ready for harvesting. But in the village of Azilia, farmers are frustrated. They are facing stiff competition from hemp produced in Europe and want the government to speed up the implementation of the 2021 law legalizing the industrial and medicinal use of the plant. Currently, the situation in the region here is complicated because all residents are experiencing a real economic crisis since the state is still fighting the illegal drug trade and has blocked all the routes to Europe. Supply is greater than the demand. And in addition to that, there is a real crisis in the so-called traditional cannabis area. Farmers are waiting impatiently for legalization, hoping that it could open the economy for us. The new legislation governs all aspects of cannabis regularization, from cultivation conditions to the importation of seeds and export of products. Morocco is said to be the world's largest producer of hashish and has been grown in the Reef region for centuries. The authorities have tended to turn a blind eye to the trade. We are convinced that the legalization is in our interest and we support it. People will at least be able to live in peace without fear of prosecution. Regarding cannabis, I can tell you that here. There are 60 to 70 percent of people who have been prosecuted because of cannabis. So we are in favor of its legalization. So people can live freely without the risk of getting arrested. Officials say, however, that it is important not to rush the implementation of the project to make sure that all the correct regulations and authorizations are in place. <laughs> We put emphasis on the development of the region, whether roads or tourism. Create extra revenues for villagers. Cannabis, as a crop, I can tell you, it doesn't produce a lot today. The long-term aim of the new law is to cut the ground from the under the feet of traffickers and position the country on the global illegal cannabis market. Victor Wanaswamanzo TV.